Hey, welcome back to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson, our Alabama football analyst. We're going to be taking a look at Ole Miss, Alabama's upcoming opponent this weekend. And John Parker, this Ole Miss team, uh, really another level of opponent from what Alabama's seen so far this season, and they're bringing a lot of offensive weapons to the table. Yeah, definitely. The first ranked opponent Alabama's seen uh, thus far in the season, and it'll be a big test for Alabama. I think Florida was supposed to be the measuring stick of our season, but really proved not to be. Uh, going on the road in a hostile road environment like Oxford, uh, I think it'll be a good test to see where our program's at thus far in the year. All right, John Parker, one of their most dangerous weapons, a guy that Nick Saban has talked about a little bit this week, Laquan Treadwell, the wide receiver. Let's, let's take a look at him a little bit here. Yeah, big receiver. They like to get him the ball. He does a really good job of running routes and getting up the field after the catch. So the first play we'll see right here is a third and eight play uh, backed up in Boise's territory. And uh, Bo Wallace originally does a good job of kind of getting the defense to come off sides uh, with a hard count. And then we'll see him just going up and making the play right here. We'll see Bo take the snap. Uh, realize the guy's off sides and then just kind of throwing a back shoulder ball. He does a really good job of adjusting um, to the ball, making the catch, getting that feel for the first down. Right here we'll see a play action from Bo and really see the, the route running ability of Laquan right here. It's kind of a post dig route, kind of a double move route, um, an advanced route for a receiver right here. And he does a really good job of finding the hole in the defense and getting open. Um, and I like to see him catch the ball and he immediately tries to get upfield. Um, very impressive with him right there, and it kind of shows his route running ability and as well as his playmaking ability. All right, so when you have an elite receiver like this, and what does Alabama do defensively to try to adjust to a guy like this? What, what do we see typically from Nick Saban when he's trying to handle a receiver that can really make a lot of plays like this? Yeah, kind of what we've seen with people try to guard Amari is put a safety over the top. I think that's the first thing to do is to, to double cover the guy. And the defense will actually call um, his number out in the huddle and say, we're going to double this guy. So we're going to uh, double cover number one, and they'll really be keying on him. The problem that this happens is, is he starts to, to draw an extra defender. Well, there's other guys that are one-on-one -on -one now, and that's where the other guys have to step up and play that one-on-one -on -one matchups and really have to succeed in those battles. All right, so another kind of unique thing that Ole Miss is bringing to the table on offense, Jeremy Liggins, uh, this big fella that they put back there in short yardage situations is kind of a wildcat. Certainly not a typical look for a wildcat quarterback, what we're used to seeing. Yeah, a little more pounds than the uh, typical wildcat quarterback will have, but I think this is something that drives the defense coordinators crazy. You know, you get a big guy coming here with a jumbo package like this in a very pivotal fourth down, third down and one, fourth down and one are kind of the big plays, and you have to win those. So we'll see the big guy right here take the snap, and they're just full steam ahead trying to get the first down. Um, the offensive line does a good job with the extra tight ends trying to help out. But he's really, you know, going to get the ball, get a, get a lead blocker, and try to get downhill. I think it's something that we're going to have to prepare for and, and really, you know, hone in on these short yardage, whether it's goal line or out in the field. The short yardage plays are kind of where um, it's won down there in the trenches. All right, well, obviously the headliner of this Ole Miss offense is Bo Wallace, the quarterback. Uh, has some pretty gaudy statistics so far. It leads the, the conference in several categories. Um, but he's also made quite a few mistakes and, and taken a lot of sacks as well. L let's take a look at some of the film and maybe see why that might be happening. Yeah, I think when Bo's hot, he's hot. But when he gets a little pressure, uh, starts, to, starts to make some bad decisions and force the ball a little bit. And I think it starts up front with their offensive line and uh, kind of their protection Right here, we'll see this first one. It's just a standard three-man rush. You know, they get an extra guy dropping out and um, five offensive linemen blocking only three guys. So right here, we'll just see a, a three-man rush. They've got a prevent defense dropping an extra guy, and we've got five offensive linemen to block only three, three defensive linemen rushing. And uh, with those two extra guys and even the running back staying in, we're, we're, the offensive line is having a problem blocking these guys. And, and a forced bow and to get in sack right here um, on second down. Right here, we'll see a three-man rush again. And, uh, you know, he's not ready to throw the ball. They're getting pressure too quick with a three-man rush, allowing the defense to drop more guys in coverage with the zone and, and, and force some bow into some bad decisions. And right here on this next play, we'll see him throwing the ball before he's ready. You know, the receiver's running a good route, and Bo actually makes a good throw right here, but it's just having to happen too quick. The, uh, the offensive line didn't give him the necessary time to make the, the play develop downfield. All right, so right here, we've got a kind of a, a different look from, from the defense. We've got five guys up front, and they're actually only going to rush three. 
And when they do that, it kind of confuses the offensive line, and they get pressure when they're only rushing three guys. 52 right here is a, is a zone defender in the middle of the field. And with only three guys rushing right here, once again, the offensive line should be picking it up every time. What happens is they get – pressure from the outside and Bo kind of bails out right here and has to throw the ball sooner than he wants to. This receiver is looking for the zone of the field over here. But instead, Wallace has to throw it sooner than he needs to and the receiver isn't ready for the ball. It kind of hits him in the hands, it's deflected up and this is just a, a product of the defensive line getting a rush, kind of confusing the offensive line. And something that Alabama can take advantage of with our guys up front is using the big guys to rush and allowing more guys to drop and defend uh, in the secondary. All right, so John Parker, this is Alabama's first true road game of the season. First, first time going on the road in an SEC stadium for Blake Sims. You played over there in Vaught-Hemingway Stadium a couple of times. Just what is the atmosphere like there for a good game and, and how does that affect a player? You know, it's a, it's a great atmosphere with the fans over in Ole Miss. And even though it's not the biggest stadium in the SEC, it's, it's loud. And the, the fans are right on top of you. Um, it'll be a big test for, for Alabama coming out of the first road, road game, especially against a rape team like this. I think for Blake, he's got to come out and just take care of the ball and just kind of do the things that he's been doing to get him here. He's done such a good job so far in the season of, of protecting the ball and moving the chains. Look to see him do that and look to see our, our defense really get tested. Um, as Florida, we thought they were going to come out and really test us. This will be a, a, a true test with Bo Wallace and uh, number one, the receiver, going out and really trying our secondary. That's it for this week here on the AL.com Film Room. Thanks for watching and join us again next week.